first this week in Phuket. Today we're going to speak to Mr. Gary Krause from the legend of music recording studio, Siobhan McGovern from Phuket Aloud, and Tim Campbell from the Stand Up Projects. But first, we're going to see what events in Phuket you've been going to in the past week. Gary Kraus from Legend of Music Recording Studio. Hello, Mr. Gary. Hi, Alice. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I also heard that uh, from Legend of Music Recording Studio, you also organize this, the Battle of Young Band competitions. Yes, I do. We, we put on a Battle of the Young Bands every year, and we put the competition on aimed at school bands that are on the island, both um, from the international schools and from the Thai schools. The Phuket is 
absolutely chock-a-block with talented young children that can sing, play guitar, play drums, uh, write songs, bands that get together. Um, there's just so many of them and we've been on the island for about three years now uh -huh. and my son is a musician and one of the things that we found was that there's nothing or, or there's very few outlets on Phuket for talented children to show their stuff, to get up and play, to hone their craft, that sort of thing. Okay. So what we decided was we put together a, a competition, or we actually run two competitions, that will help these little artists find themselves and show us what they've got. Okay, but also um, if they're student, if the young kids, they um, don't go to public school, let's say they have homeschool, they can also enter the competition. Absolutely, my son's homeschooled. Ah. So, um, and, and a few other kids that are in some of these bands that compete are also homeschooled. It's, the competition rules are not hectic, uh -huh. but they are rules to kind of keep ringers out of it, you know, to kind of, you know, keep the 21 or 22 or 23 year olds out of it. It's, okay. it's really aimed at, at school children mm. um, or learners that are musically oriented. You know, what we found is most of the schools on the island, and, and, and there's lots of schools on the island, they run very strong academic programs and they run very strong athletic programs. Yeah. So the kids that shine in those fields have a lot of outlet to go and compete with each other and, you know, they travel all over Thailand and they <laughs> compete with each other in that field. Yeah. But there's nothing for the kids with music to do. So that's why we run these competitions. Okay. Is it possible if they join their, form their own band from different school? Yes, absolutely. Last year's winners, the Legends of Siam, which my kid plays in, um, they come from, they came from about three different schools and some of the kids were homeschooled. Oh. So, um, yeah, an absolute, uh, and again, these kids didn't really know each other until they formed a band. So yeah. Blaze decided, he's my son, uh, he decided he wanted to form a band. He invited a kid that he kind of knew mm -hmm. um, through me, through uh, one of my friends, um, who played drums. Yeah. And they, you know, next one, one invited another one, this one invited another one. And all of a sudden they had a collection of six kids that kind of came from all different backgrounds, all different ages, and they formed this band that, that's doing really, really well for them now. Oh, actually quite a great opportunity for them, I, I think. I heard this year you also, apart from the band competitions, you also have the singers, uh, yes. talented competitions yes. as well. So what we did this year, it, it runs late February mm -hmm. and it runs in conjunction with one of the Laguna events. What we do is we put on a competition with Siobhan's music studio, who I, I, get, I think you're talking to a little later, where we have a competition aimed at the young singers on the island that can come and sing on stage in front of a big audience mm -hmm. and because it's it's pretty much a singer and a backtrack we get a lot of entrants for that so the last competition I think attracted almost 30 entrants. Wow that's from just Phuket alone. Just from Phuket alone. Yeah I'd like you to talk about uh, the, um, the Battle of Young Band competitions that's going to happen this weekend and then the finals. Please. Oh yes sure so last year the Battle of the Young Bands was run as a single event so it was on a Sunday I think only about five bands had entered and they competed and there was one winner and the winner takes all in this competition. This year we teamed up with Hard Rock Cafe um, again. They, they sponsored s some elements of the, of the competition last year. Mm -hmm. This year what we did is we took the competition to them and we said we'd like to run it at your venue. What do you think about that? And they said, fantastic. What do you think about changing the competition to kind of fit a wider audience. So we said, perfect. So what we came up with is, we came up with initial heats where bands will come and compete in smaller chunks, so two or three bands at a time. Mm -hmm. They'll play on a particular Saturday and the winner of that event will go through to the final, which will be held on the 4th of May. Mm -hmm. We've run two heats already and this weekend being the 23rd of March is the final heat mm -hmm. and that winner will go through to the final as well so there'll be three three winners from the heats which will compete in the final mm -hmm. and then all the bands that didn't win they still get another chance because mm -hmm. what we do is we video all of their performances mm -hmm. and we will choose the best song that they play they play two songs at the competition we'll choose the best song we'll put that online 
and their fans and friends and family get a chance to go and vote for them online. And the two bands that have the most votes will also get put into the final. So on the 4th of May, there'll be five bands competing for quite a nice prize. Uh, Class Act Media are sponsoring a media package, mm -hmm. which will include playlisting the song that gets recorded by Legend Music. Mm -hmm. They will give them some coverage in the newspapers, they'll give them some TV coverage, and in fact, yourselves, the Phuket News TV, have come on board as the sponsor for a music video. Okay. Um, and then Hard Rock Cafe, apart from sponsoring the venue where these bands can play, is putting up a winner-take-all 50,000 baht cash prize. Wow. Uh, which, is a, which is a great um, kickoff for yes. a new young band. Yes. You know, young, young musicians always need gear. They always need new guitars or better guitars or better drums yeah. or, you know, just stuff to play with. Uh, new cables, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, it's an expensive business. <laughs> but, and the 50,000 baht will go a long way to help a young band get themselves on track. Oh, that sounds all very exciting. Um, also, I'd like, to, I'd like you to share if the fan is watching our show and would like to vote for them. Where can they go and Fantastic. To vote for them? So, what you can do to go and vote for them, you can only vote after this weekend. Uh -huh. because we've got to make it fair for all the bands. So yep. all the videos go live on the 24th of this month. And the fans can go to legendmusic.net mm -hmm. to find out more about the competition. Or they can find the Legend Music or Hard Rock Phuket Facebook sites okay. and they can find out about the details there. And what they'll, if they want to vote for their friends, bands, fans, whatever they are, they, can, they will have to vote either on Facebook or on YouTube. Okay. But the avenue to get there is via legendmusic.net or via the Hard Rock or Legend Music Facebook pages. Okay, so legendmusic.net, um, the website, yep. and then Facebook fan page of both Legend Music and the Hard Rock Or Hard Rock Cafe Phuket, yeah. Okay, oh, that sounds interesting. And also, um, if any talented singers on the island and also the bands on the island, they are interested, but they missed the chance this year. Um, do you think where they can keep up with the news for the next year competition? Absolutely. Um, the best place to, to look for the news is probably on our Facebook sites because mm -hmm. it's social media and it's interactive. We get to update those on a daily basis. And although we do run this competition once a year, the, you know, the, the year is still young. Mm -hmm. we, we may do things later in the year. It just depends. It depends how popular these things these things get. Have to keep up on the news on Legend of Absolutely. News. If they go and like our pages, mm -hmm. which means that our news will come up in their feed, okay. they will definitely get to hear about whatever's going on next time. Can you let us know the fan page address, please, to keep up with the news? Yes, so the fan page, uh, the, the fan page address is Facebook forward slash Legend Music or Facebook forward slash Hard Rock Cafe Phuket. Okay. Thank you very much, Gary, and I hope this is all interesting for those talented band and singers on the island to keep up with Gary Kraut and the Legend of Music. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. We will be back with more of this week in Phuket in a moment. Hi, Nick Anthony here. Tune into the Going Green Show, talking to the people on the island that are making it a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable place. Nick Anthony on Going Going Green, Saturdays from 3 on Phuket's Live 89.5. To this week in Phuket, and now I'm speaking with Tim Campbell, the co owner of Stand Up Projects. Hello, Tim. Elise, how are you? I'm doing good, and I think we would like to learn more about these projects that you're the co owner of, the Stand Up Projects. Okay, Stand Up Projects is an adventure company mm -hmm. uh, that we support community sustainable projects in local areas around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a focus here in Phuket for about two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, last year there were seven of us who stand up paddled around Phuket to raise oh, yeah. money to build a school in Phuket Town for underprivileged Burmese kids. Oh. Uh, this year, 2013, we're looking to support the local Phuket community uh, by building community skate park. Oh, that's ever interesting. So I heard that there's uh, already uh, many enthusiasts, enthusiastic about you know the skating in the Phuket communities. I heard also you wanna do uh, host some event to raise fun. 
Yeah, on the 31st of March at Bliss Beach Club, uh, Bungtail Beach, we're organising a stand-up paddle race day. Mm -hmm. Now, it's for beginners as well as for advanced. We have some elite races as well as some fun races for the family and the kids. Uh, we have DJs, food and drink by different restaurants and businesses around the island. Uh, and the whole day is basically to bring the community together mm -hmm. and build that community spirit. Because the whole idea of this community skate park is uh, bringing the community together and providing a place that the community can come and hang out with together. Okay, um, this event that's going to happen on the 31st, um, can you let us know a little bit more about you know what the race is about and you know how they want to if they want to participate like they can show up on the day or you know if they need to have some experience before uh, no real experience necessary at least there the whole idea of the day is on a stand-up paddle board mm -hmm. uh, which is quite wide and quite long so people can just show up on the day or they can also get some more information uh, through our uh, email info at standupprojects.com. Okay. Um, basically, they can show up on the day. There's a registration fee mm -hmm. of 500 baht mm -hmm. that includes all equipment, some basic instruction, and we'll have some different uh, different races that will go throughout the day. Okay. Oh, and um, do they have to have very good balance? Because you know, gonna be stand up on the board and paddle. So, if anyone interested and they think, no, I can't. Balance, balance on on the board. Not a problem. We're, we'll have a sub clinic running by, give people some basic instruction. Uh -huh. The board is very wide. You could fit an elephant on on it. Oh, and have very, very big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can't really fall off the board. Not really, unless you're really trying to. No, you're not <laughs> okay. coming off. So it has to be as a team, compete as a team, or as a person. You can uh, compete individually. Mm -hmm. We also have a team event. Uh, different hotels and businesses around the island uh, entering a team mm -hmm. to represent their business. Okay. But also friends are just entering the team as a group of four and you'll do one leg each like a relay race. Oh, I also heard this is from um, somewhere. Do you still have the yoga practicing on the board as well for those one who are interested? Yeah, 100%. We'll have our, our Kathy, who's our yoga instructor, will be down on the day. Uh -huh. uh, she's going to be showing those yoga enthusiasts. Uh, you've combined the ancient art of yoga with the, the natural atmosphere of the ocean. Uh, it's quite enjoyable. You it's quite interesting for me because yeah. I do yoga, so it will be interesting because I haven't tried it yet for it, you know, the yoga on the board, on the ocean. Yeah. Well, sounds interesting for me already. And it's um, 31st of March. 31st of March, so about a week and a half away. Uh -huh. It's not too late to register. Like I said, you can register on the day yeah. to show up. Even if you don't want to race, you can still come down. There's plenty of beach activities, food and drink, and music and entertainment. If anyone well. wants to contribute to the... If anyone wants to contribute to the project, they can still just come without joining the race, right? Oh yes, 100%. We will also be taking any cash donations on the day as well. Mm -hmm. uh, all the all the money and all the profits raised from this day will be given to the local community okay. uh, to build this community skate park. Oh, very exciting. And there's also, apart from anyone who wants to contribute, there also will be you know food and drinks, uh, selling on the day as well to contribute to, to the project, right? Yes, we'll have drinks on sale. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also have different selection of foods uh, from Didos Restaurant, who are doing a combination of ceviche, mm -hmm. and, uh, different products, and also Lady Pie, who will have a, oh. a smorgasbord of, of meat pies, uh, and also from Pure Organics, which will have uh, oh. some fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, and juices down on the day as well. Oh, so apart from getting yourself, you know, exercise and being in a good shape, learning some new things, it's also you got some good food and a good course. All for a good cause, all for the kids of the community, uh, basically to provide a positive area where they can channel their, channel their energy. Uh, it's been proven that kids who have a focus, especially um, to become an athlete, mm -hmm. it steers them away from drugs and alcohol and those mm -hmm. sort of bad temptation avenues as well. So, yeah, so please, anyone that's interested, come down, support the day, bring the kids and have some fun. So you mentioned about the kids, does the competitions have, you know, for adults and for kids separated or? Yes, we have adult races, we mm -hmm. also have kid races, we also have a family race where they'll have an adult and one kid on the same board Okay. and they race together. Or they can just come in as adult and then fight the kids there. <laughs> can they enter like that? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Let's use a paper rock who goes in the race. Okay. What time again from uh, on the 31st of March? What time? From what time to what time? Kicks off from midday uh -huh. and will run right through till 7pm in the evening. 
at, uh, Bliss. at Bliss Beach Club. Still mm -hmm. be open in the evening if people want to continue the party. But the event will run from midday till 6 p.m. All right, thank you very much, cool. and I hope everyone joining. Thank at you, Liz. Your hope event. to see you there as well. Okay, I will be there. All right, sounds thank good. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> we just spoke to Tim Campbell, and if you would like to keep up with the Stand Up Projects, please visit www.standupprojects.com for more information. And now is the time to look at the events happening in Phuket next week. Welcome back to This Week in Phuket. And now I'm speaking to Siobhan, the organizer of Phuket Aloud. Hello. Hello. So I'd like you to tell us very loud about what Phuket Aloud is. Phuket Aloud is a community choir in Phuket. It's uh, brand new, it just started. We had our first rehearsal this week and it's for anyone and everyone who wants to sing. Oh, anyone can join, any age range? Age any age range from 18 to 88. If you wanna come out and have a sing, come and join us. Just right for me. I'm just turning 18 so I can join. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, please do come join. We need new members. I love singing, so, <laughs> but you know, can't guarantee that it's good or bad. So anyone really like no talented, no background? No experience necessary. It's purely for fun and enjoyment. It's something new and different to do in Phuket. And we just want to get as many people involved as possible. Okay, so if they're interested, where can they find you and uh, how many times a week that you meet to practice? Okay, so rehearsals are every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and the rehearsals are at my studio, Siobhan's Music Studio. It's in Boat Lagoon. Uh -huh. It's a little bit tricky to find the first time, so you've got to go to our YouTube channel and you'll see a little video of the driving directions to get there. Even get the video of driving directions. <laughs> yeah. oh. I love your studio already. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, okay, so this um, Phuket Alound, uh, you also have the director running, right? Yes, we have uh, Jackie Feliciano is our director and she is a super talented vocalist vocalist and conductor. She graduated from the International University of Florida uh -huh. with a Bachelor of Arts in Vocal Performance. Wow. And um, we had our first rehearsal on Tuesday with just six members. She was able to get us singing in three-part harmony right away. Wow. It was really amazing. So apart from those who really like to sing, I think for those who really like to learn how to sing, Absolutely. We, you come in, we start off, we do some vocal warm-ups, learn uh -huh. some technical ability, how do you breathe, how do you sing in tune, and then we go into song repertoire, so we learn songs and parts and singing in harmony. Okay. Is there, is there any cost to join? Um, the cost, it's uh, 100 baht per session, so you can come whenever you can come on a Tuesday, just drop in and give us 100 baht and you get to sing with everybody. And it's for two hours, right? Yes. Oh, it's just, I think it's so much fun. You 100 baht too. You know, you gotta have fun. You gotta do things that you like to do. Yeah. And you gotta learn how to sing too. You're like, gonna learn to sing, yeah. sing in a group, and meet new people, make some new friends, and have some fun. So at this stage, because it just uh, last week, right? Mm -hmm. So you'd like to have as much members. Yeah, uh, to get in. Is there any places like on the website or anywhere that they can find out more information if anyone watched the show and would like to find yes, out? Yes, you go to www.musiclessonspuket.com uh -huh. and you'll find all the information there. Go to the contact page, you can email us, you can give us a call, and uh, we'll let you know. Just come on down and have a sing. You don't need to book ahead of time, just show up. We're all going to sing up. together. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, 7, 7 p.m. To 9 p.m. You're gonna join, right? I am. Yay! Sign me up. <laughs> uh, I don't promise it's gonna be this Tuesday or next <laughs> Tuesday, but I'll, I'll join. All right, all right. And I must mention that we've we made a Facebook page, Phuket Allowed. Okay, it's a group, so you can come and join the group, Phuket Allowed. You can see all the starting members, the founding members are on there already. We have a photo of the first rehearsal and everything. So, check it out. Join the group. Come and join us on Tuesday nights. So if there is, um, let's say, um, both Thai and foreigner, anyone that can join? Absolutely anyone can join. If they're under 18, they're not allowed? They can still join if they want to come in and sing and have a good time. <laughs> I've got some friends who are under 18. So <laughs> okay, yeah, bring them along. It was, you know what? It doesn't matter. We just, we just want people who want to come in and sing. So, Cool. 
I think I'll sign up. And anyone who would like to join me, you know, and see yes. us. I'm excited already about so it. So come, you can meet her over there. It's and me, to, I'll be there too. Not going to be just go, right? Go <laughs> no, it, we already have two boys, and I, I have confirmation of at least two more. And I'm going to be... Um, knocking on the door at uh, Phuket News and getting everyone there to join. They're expected to join as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, one from Phuket News joining now. Yay! <laughs> and I hope this is going to be, uh, you know, for those who just want to sing for fun. Absolutely. No pressure. Yeah, if you... This is like, because so many times, like if you in the band or sometimes it's, it's a, a bit of pressure, but this is... Sure, and I started, fun. you know, I started messaging my friends and saying, you have to join, you have to join. And the, the reply every time is, but I don't know how to sing, but I don't know how to sing. It doesn't matter, because so you you're in a group. Yeah. yeah. Even, even though you're lousy, you can join. Yes, <laughs> of course, please, come join, you'll get better and you'll get to sing harmonies and it's an amazing feeling to sing with a huge group of people. It's just oh. an incredible thing to do. All right, thank you very much, Humor and So this is exciting new for those who really want to have some fun and singing together on the island. Forget aloud. And thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you. Hi, I'm Kirsty Meyer and I read the news in the afternoons on Live 89.5 and we cover your local, national and international news. Kirsty Meyer, bringing the island's news to you Mondays to Fridays on Phuket's Live 89.5. Thank you very much for joining us this week in Phuket and thank you very much to Bliss Beach Club for hosting it tonight. We'll be back with another program next week.